This knife was sent to me for review and evaluation. Welcome to my review of this Feldspar knife. The brand here is CJRB. You got two terraced thumb studs as your openers. You can flick it open very well because it's got a ceramic ball bearing pivot. All right, notice liner lock. Oh, sorry for any background noise. This is live action, my friends. All right, so you see the lock up there. It is secure. There's no there's no blade play in either direction. All right, but yeah, an attractive attractive blade shape. Ideal for slicing and piercing, I would say. You've got a very high bevel into a flat grind, right? Partial flat grind and then the edge itself. The blade length is three inches and it is D2 tool steel, right? A two position deep carry pocket clip. Open pillar construction. There is that stop pin right there. All right, you have a lanyard hole there. Now the handle scales, this is brown G10, but it is available in many different colors right so i'll include a link below now be aware this is also available in a longer blade right i've already reviewed this but this is the big brother all right check out that previous review if you need a little more reach a little more edge length you've got some stone wash on the pocket clip which matches stone wash on the blade i feel that's quite attractive and man the pivot on this super smooth i mean Super smooth. I'm left-handed. Notice that was my offhand. All right, so yeah, definitely like that. All right, let's cut a few things. I've got some paracord. We're having a heat wave, so if you hear something in the background, that's all the air conditioners from around the neighborhood. All right, this thing killed the paracord. That's too easy. Okay, we have some seat belt type material. Now I've bent it in half, so this is going to be a double layer of the seat belt type material. This is a short. Wait. Wow, okay, did well. Let's see uh, this thing do some carving. See that? I mean, it's not the ideal whittling knife, but uh, damn, it's pretty sharp. It's, pr it's actually pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we've uh, we removed the corners, right? So how are you all doing? I hope you're doing well these days. It's, uh, Man, it's, it, the weather is crazy. We have a heat wave. You know, it was almost 100 degrees the other day. And uh, we got, definitely we have some storms predicted for the next three days, okay? So hopefully, hopefully the potato, the next crop of potatoes I'm growing, hopefully they're gonna get some, some water from those storms. And hopefully the power remains on. All right, this did well. Check, check it out. Got some delicious peppers. Does well. It's the shape of a paring knife. Hope you're all staying healthy and happy these days, these tough times. Whoa. Sorry about the wind noise. We got a thunderstorm rolling in. All right, there you go. Initial sharpness demonstration for this knife. That's the big brother. These are straight out of the box. Before I cut anything else with this, let's see, uh, let's see what the edge can do. Not bad. All right. Okay, this has a high degree of initial sharpness, definitely acceptable. And if you would like to see a close-up of the edge and the grind, there it is. It is an attractive stone wash. And while we're here, let's get an official weight on this. 76.1 grams. How many ounces? 2.8. 6.9 ounces. All right, here is that deep carry pocket clip in action. Yeah, I am left-handed, so it's on this side. I didn't change the clip, but it's two position. There you go, works pretty well. 
So what are my final thoughts on this uh, smaller feldspar knife? Well, I mean, let's, let's go uh, factor by factor, right? First is the deployment. Ceramic pivot, super smooth. The thumb studs are placed correctly. Uh, you can't ask for more than that. So the deployment, excellent. Lockup, excellent. Initial sharpness, how they've done the edge. The edge was ground correctly. Sharpness, uh, excellent. The usefulness of the blade shape, good slicing ability, good piercing ability. Next is just plain attractiveness. Definitely like these handle scales, the color. Uh, I definitely like the, uh, the stone wash on that and that. All right, so on all the on all the uh, dimensions that I assess a uh, folding knife or an EDC knife on, it it just does very well. This is you could say it's it's nearly an ideal knife in the budget everyday carry category. You know the the lightness, sub three ounces, the ease of carry. It's not too big. It's not too scary. You can get this for 35 but there's often discounts and sales and coupons on the listing. You know, check for current pricing. But you can sometimes get this for even less. Now that D2 tool steel, that's definitely appropriate for this price range. However, I would like to see them experiment with uh, using different steels, a variety of steels. So 35 or less, that's a very good price. That's a very good price. I feel like if you need a budget a smaller sized budget everyday carry folder uh, I, I recommend this yes I, I definitely do this uh, this brand has impressed me I must say hope you enjoyed the video it's been we all juggle knives I'm out